I don't know. Hey, man! That's right. 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 The, the Curry Cup is in its 120th this year and you've played your part. Press the space bar to take a trip down memory lane. Okay. That was good. That was like, uh, mm -hmm. they came out fire. Yeah, you were still on the bench. On the, the bench, bench, yeah, that's fine. That started all for me. Yeah, they were like, the first half, they were all over us and then the second half they started like I was on fire, but I still remember this game when we were like starting to get back at them what Naka said that we will take the three, then we'll go for the try to push them into extra time yeah. and then we'll beat them. I don't know when this is going to stop but I, mean, I want to tell you something because I'm, we're sitting, I'm sitting in the coach's box, too. we were operating with lights yes. there, with our plays there. Then after, I'll tell you now, oh, no, you're on already, yeah, I'm you're on, on yeah. already, yeah. Yeah, yeah. we will get it now. Tell you then what happens just before that. I don't even yeah. know if I've told you before. You know, it's a bounce pass. Yeah, a no. bounce pass from Naka. <laughs> There's a bounce pass, and there. Yeah, it's a I still remember I called Bevan, come around, come around, make the kick easier for Bella. Yeah. The curry cup by mauling the Bulls. That's the only way because yeah. they're mauling everybody, everybody, and we're going to win the final of a maul. It was planned like. Months before, yes. so that's the only way. So that was yeah. just luck. The ball yeah. bouncing was just luck, but the mall was. Bad. Yeah, the mall. But I remember that we mall every Monday with the forwards, with Jack, yeah. with Pucky, with Elise, the physios, with the physios, the doctors, or <laughs> in the uh, they like they were coming with trench shoots, and then on Mondays they were putting on the the, the number one. Yeah, we only had a squad of all thirty-eight, so the management had to stop. Yeah, to stop malls. Yeah. yeah, that was awesome. I'll, I'll tell you the interesting thing on that one, and not because uh, Kabomba is sitting here. But uh, yeah, well, I felt we were losing that game. We all wish you knew I was going to use you as an impact yes, player. Yes, yes, we, that was our plan. We didn't go by, oh, we're now going to put him on. It's I am going to put him yes. on. That, that was always the case. And he just stood out that he had that white and, 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 and uh, scrum cap. Orange. Yeah, yeah. No, and I was looking next to, to you know, to Alcat and I said, I think it's time to put Kabamba on. And I, that's actually when the game changed. It's almost like a little light down there with that white and red scrum cap. And as you said, he did, did a wonderful job. But why, why I signed him to, to come to us? We were playing a game in Jaws and we were unbeaten. We were, we were, we were, you know, we were beating every single team. We were on our way to the Curry Cup. And we played there and we had this move around the scrum. <laughs> and the small little, he didn't have blonde there then, but he was standing there and the first one, he tackled Naka Drotsky out of the screen. You know, when the television is on this, you, you just see Naka Drotsky going on. And I was teasing Naka and I said, look at the small light he's tackling you. And then the next one, Naka said, okay, I'll tell you what, I'll play to you. And then I was tackled out of the screen. So uh, that's why, why we signed him. Yeah, and, and then the next year, he rocked up there. And, and, and obviously, yeah, you know what happened after that. So it was wonderful to, to get him there. Yeah. They said play, like in that 2004, I didn't play because I were not at the... You played against I played against you. you. I, me, I yeah. played against <laughs> Rasi in, in 2004. I still remember uh, before we played that Curry Cup game, I was, I was with the Stormers in 2003 and 2004. Yes. Ger released us and we played a warm-up game in Pato's door. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> and you, had, you came from a tour from PE, and you, like, were well, a few guys, I don't know, those guys were injured. Yeah. So you played that game. I was game. actually the coach. You were and the coach. Before yeah. the game, I had to play you because had to play didn't have the other That time. game. So that was the first time I played against you. Yeah. And that was an awesome experience. And then in the Curry Cup, as you said, when you explained what happened with you and Naka, <laughs> and, and we actually we beat them that you game. You beat us. We beat them in. George at Otaniqua Park and yeah. it was an awesome, awesome yeah. experience for me. Yeah, we, to we went to the Karaka final and we only lost three games and one of us against SWD. SWD you guys, yes. yeah, yeah, you so, the game no. was a proper hiding that. Yeah, but, but I play a lot of games with you at, at, at training. Yeah. So, <laughs> although you were coach, you were still busy playing in 2005 with us at training. Yeah, yeah, I was, yeah <laughs> trying, trying to keep up. Yeah. <laughs>
But hell, the most important thing that we try to sign in those years is, is players who, who doesn't want to build their own brand and their own profile. It's players serving the team. And it's so easy to, to coach guys, and, and not because he sits here, but he was a player that just always served the team. Doesn't matter how you utilize him. So uh, it was easy to coach him, and it was just easy. And we're trying to bring that back into the game. And the players that were with you, people always say it's about you, but the group that you put together that mm. played with me and that mm. we, I were part of, were an awesome group, and we all mm. yelled and put in the hard work. I remember when we started out, you can ask Kabamba, we said, uh, guys, we got the first few games we played, we played boarding rugby, we just wanted to win. Yes, we yes. had so, a thousand people on the pavilion and two thousand people on the pavilion. <laughs> to up the numbers and then we said, let's just keep on winning. And in the beginning, I'm going to talk a little bit mm. now, I went to the military because I was in the military and I, I spoke to the, the, the commander there and I said, listen, bring us three of your battalions mm. and put them on the southern stand so it looks like there's a lot of people. There. <laughs> and, I, and we went to the varsity and I went to all the hostels and said, listen, yeah, we get SAB to give you free beer and we put them on the south stand. Yes. And, and I was injured then, so when, whenever they came close to our trial line, I would go defense, then all, all the military guys would go defense, defense, and then we go to attack all the students. Were, but then half time when we swapped around, because the military guys didn't really follow rugby, when we were defending, they would go attack. <laughs> they were all messed up. But then eventually, we, 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 we started winning. These guys yeah, played no, so we well. Did, yeah. I mean, the last seven games, it was sold out. Everybody Every, in orange. We, we were carrying out extra chairs because too, there was too many too tickets. Too many tickets sold for the... Uh, that was the 2006 final. Yeah. And to mm. give credit to the players, they went at the... Uh, because we thought we couldn't fill the stadium, they went and stood at the robot, the traffic lights. Yes, yes, and you guys yes, were yes, handing, yes, handing out tickets, out tickets from 7 to 8 in the morning yes. to make sure... But, but those were the days in Free State Rugby that I always remember. For me, going from SWD to Free State, I knew that every player that were there, they need to be on top of the game. Before.